what's up youtube i got a lot of questions in my comments regarding a resume on being a sterile process technician now a lot of people just got out of school and ready to get their sterile processing job and they don't know what to put on their resume now i'm here to help you and write the best resume or just you know if you need an idea of what to put on your resume when you don't got no experience you never had a sterile processing job and you're looking for some experience or you're looking to hire new techs and you're looking for something to put in your resume now most jobs are looking for a year to two year experience techs but guess what once you get out of school as soon as you get out of school go get your certification because a lot of techs in the field even at my job, some of them don't have a certification. So when that time has come, when that time come to get their certification and a job tell them, yo, you need a certification, they don't have to go because they don't have the certification. Now they spot is gonna fill up for another person. Now go get your certification, don't waste time because you could put being certified on your resume and that will put you above all the text. Like literally. As soon as I got my certification and I was on my externship, they was like, oh, we're hiring you like that. We're hiring you like that because they see the precision, they see you dedicated and they see that you really want it over a lot of techs because a lot of techs wait, they wait a year, they're stressing, oh my God, you know, studying on hard now when you have all that information fresh in your head. So go get your certification first so you can put that on your resume and you could be above all the techs that's applying. Even if they got experience, they don't have their certification so jobs don't want to be frustrated with you and pushing you to get the certification so they'd rather hire somebody that's already certified and they don't have to stress over so they get the job so that's tip number one go get the certification all right don't wait and don't wait rush now y'all might be like rico but what if i don't have no experience well whole time you do have experience once you're in school, you can put what you learn in school and put that on your resume. Some schools have instruments. Now, when you go to school with instruments, you can put um, assembly. You know how to assemble a basic tray or ortho tray or anything. You can put that on your resume because now you're familiar with the instruments and the facility can see, okay, you're familiar with the instrument. We won't have to help you as much. We won't have to push on that and you know your instrument. Okay, now the job wants you because they know you're familiar with your instruments now. Okay, so the school taught your instruments. So now you can put that on your resume that you're familiar with the instruments. So now once you're going to the job, you already know what you're about to do and you never had a sterile process job, but you're familiar with the instruments, we're gonna make your job easier. So yeah, when you on your site, when you're on the site of your school, make sure you get familiar with instruments. Don't play around, okay? Really feel the instruments, really observe the instruments. Look at points of the instruments that help you remember because that's very important. You can put that on your resume. That's what I put on my resume before I got my sterile processing job. Also, not only instruments, you can put wrapping. Now, if your school site taught you rapping, you could put, you know, you rap the bass and you rap this, you rap that, play with the instruments. Now, that's a that's another plus. So anything, make sure you soak up everything you learned in school so you could put it on your resume, okay? That's tip number two. Now, if you be like Rico, my school didn't have instruments at all. So how would I even put that on my resume? Okay, cool. My last job, I did like taking out trash, sanitation, like stuff in that area. And all sanitation, decontamination, chemicals. I had to work with the chemicals and stuff like uh, enzymatic soaps and stuff like that. So that all connects to decon. Sterile processing is all about decontaminating items. So your previous job, once you had like sanitation experience and working with the chemicals, that kind of ties in with the sterile processing. So you could use even little jobs and little techniques that match the job description for sterile processing and you could implement that in your resume. So that's a good smart way to think. That's a good smart way to think and that's how they hired me and they accepted me into the facility. Now, a real important thing, make sure your resume is well written. Make sure everything looks professional. You don't want no, want no disorganized resume. You want a good resume so when the employer look, they know to take you serious. Once you give them your resume digitally, 
you're gonna print out your resume, put it in like, like laminate it, put it in a good folder and hand it to them because that's really gonna show dedication. I forgot to add this part in the video, but a cover letter, you need a cover letter to put and attach to your resume. A cover letter is like a grace letter on, tell them why you wanna work there and why should they hire you? Like just a grace letter, like, hey, like being very kind, like to whom may they concern, um, you know, your background, something about you you know why would they hire you you know just some grace like just showing them gratitude on why should they hire you you know you can find cover letters like on google like templates and stuff like that on on google and stuff like that so it's easy to find cover letter it's easy to find resume like documents and everything like templates that help you out but a cover letter is good too to attach your resume to not only show your resume but to show the gratitude the other side the the person that go above and beyond like i keep on saying above and beyond i know but a cover letter is is a good idea like i added a cover letter to mine and they even read the cover letter and asked me questions about the cover letter without putting a cover letter it shows your personality and shows like you know a lot of managers and stuff they just don't hire because oh you got experience you look like a hard worker well they want you know good people to bring good vibes and team players to the facility so they want to know some of your personality traits too because random people be joining and when they get the job they're bad energy but they see you good energy they want to hire you based on your cover letter and whatever you put in your cover letter so if you want to see how to write a cover letter go look it up on youtube somewhere or look at templates to you know really amplify your resume that's a good tip right there you presented it to them give it in the folder plus you give it to them on the digital aspect that's going to be like oh yeah you're going 10 times two you're going above and beyond to get this job so please use them steps too like just don't be a regular person you got to do stuff to stand out now this might be simplistic and this might be cliche but make sure everything on your resume is spelled correctly make sure like you got the right capitalization the right indent the right everything you want everything to look nice and neat so they can look if you got words spelled wrong on your resume they're not going to take you serious they're going skip past because i heard like people looking over resume that they see one word that's spelled wrong on the resume is over for you like certain jobs do that so make sure everything is like spelled make sure you go to word check make sure you go over all your words and make sure you go over everything double check triple check quadruple check your resume like for everything like still for your stair process and job like everything so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's just little stuff. If you got more questions, let me know. I can't answer every question. No, I can't can't answer every question now. Man. I've been trying, I've been responding to people, people DM me on Instagram, email, I try to get as much people as I can. I am responding, responding, but I might just do a whole video. Let me know if y'all want me to do a whole video just going through my comments and just responding to every question. I could do that. You know, that would be easier for me. But like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if one of them tips helped you or if one of them tips was helpful. Like, or did I miss anything? What, what do you think about my tips? Are they helpful? Do they make sense? Uh, do you hate my tips? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Wariko. Listen. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me the 10K subscribers and get this video to like. 50 to 100 likes come on that's our minimum we can't get nothing under 50 likes i mean my name is rico i'm 20 year old certified registered still process technician and we out